What is going on college sports fans? Welcome back to another video and today we have our week two predictions. We are picking winner picks and spread picks for every single top 25 game for week two of college football. We did this last week. Did pretty good. We only got two games wrong. We got Texas A&M wrong against Notre Dame. Texas A&M's offense did not look good at all. And then the other one we got on was the Monday night game between Florida State and Boston College. Thought Florida State just had a big mishap against Georgia Tech. Thought that they were worse than as predicted still, but I still thought that they would beat Boston College. But turns out Florida State is just really, really bad. And um, yeah, I'm ready to get into these week two picks. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. We do a ton of college football, college basketball content here on the channel. Without further ado, let's get it started. Our first game, and it is a big one at noon in the big house. Number three, Texas traveling to Michigan to face the number 10 Wolverines. This is going to be a huge game, and honestly, the spread is kind of interesting. Uh, Texas is favored by 7.5. I really do like Michigan here to lay the points. I, I, I think that Michigan could possibly win this game. I think that their defense and their size up front in the trenches is going to be a problem. And now a lot of people are saying Michigan didn't run the ball game that well last game and they only scored a couple offensive touchdowns if it wasn't for will johnson one of the best corners in college football getting a pick six and scoring a defensive touchdown then they might not even put up 30 points so kind of crazy to see uh that kind of talk but i honestly feel like donovan edwards and this michigan offensive line and this michigan run game is going to get going against texas and if they are running the ball draining the clock, getting some defensive stops against this high-powered Texas offense, slowing the game down, I think it's going to be a lot closer than what people are expecting. And if you're giving the Michigan Wolverines, who have an amazing defense, plus 7.5 on at home, I'm going to take that. I think Texas is probably going to win, but I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. And actually, for my winner pick, I'm going to go with Michigan to pull off the upset home dog. Give me the Wolverines here in this one. That's going to be a risky pick. I took an underdog pick last week. I took USC over LSU. That was a risky pick. Um, that one a little bit closer of a line than this one, but I was right on that one. Let's see if I'm right on this one. Next up, we got Kansas State going to Tulane. And this one's interesting because I'm pretty sure Tulane beat Kansas State. Was it last year or the year before? And it was kind of a big upset. Now in this one, I don't, I think Kansas State's going to be looking for that revenge. I am going to take Kansas State to win in this one for sure. Now the plus minus at nine and a half points, interesting. You know, that is a key number for football. Touchdown and field goal is 10 points. So you're asking Kansas State to win by two scores. I think that they do it. I think that this Kansas State team's really good. And yeah, they did not play, look like super amazing in week one. I just honestly feel like they weren't trying to show too much there with Avery Johnson. I feel like he is very talented. They know what they have with him. And they're really not trying to show it here early in the season. I like Kansas State here to win and lay the nine and a half points. Then we got Penn State versus Bowling Green. I mean, I got Penn State to win. Don't need to talk about this one too much, um, but we can talk about the line. Can Bowling Green cover 34 and a half? Honestly, first home game for Penn State of the season, I would probably take them minus 34 and a half. I'm not going to lie. Key number there, 35 points is... Um, a multiple of seven, so you get a key number with the touchdowns. I like Penn State there. I think that they can beat Bowling Green. Bowling Green, not a horrible team in the MAC, but I think Penn State way, way too talented uh, for them there. Then we got Arkansas versus Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State getting seven and a half at home versus the Razorbacks. Very interesting. I honestly don't know who I want to go with here. I think Oklahoma State running the ball is going to be a problem, but honestly, I could see Arkansas pulling off this upset. I did already kind of go with an upset, so I am going to take Oklahoma State to win, but I think I would take Arkansas to cover the 7.5 here. I think it's probably going to be a pretty high-scoring game, maybe. I mean, dang, the o I was going to take 
a look at the over possibly, but at 62 and a half, if it was 63 and a half, I would probably take the under. 62 is interesting. I'd probably still take the under. That's a little high. I think it's going to be high scoring, but maybe not that high scoring. I'd probably take Arkansas plus seven, but I would take Oklahoma State to win the game. Then we got Tennessee Tech versus Georgia. Georgia's going to win that game. Um, no doubt about it, but 53 and a half points. Is that our biggest spread of the week for at least top 25 games? I think probably um, kind of crazy, but I'm going to take Georgia to win and I guess take them minus 53 and a half. Don't bet on that <laughs> unless you're very confident, but um, yeah, I guess I would take that if I had to choose a line. I would not try to take Tennessee Tech to cover it. Northern Illinois versus Notre Dame, same thing here. I don't really give NIU too much of a chance. Now, Notre Dame, I feel like they're probably going to play a lot better in offense this game. I would probably say they're going to cover this 28.5. If you want it to be extra safe, take the alt line at 27.5. Um, but Notre Dame, I would take them to win that 100%. Jacksonville State versus Louisville. This one, you know, at the beginning of the season, you could circle it and be like, mm, you know, as far as... Group of five teams trying to go in on the road and upset a power four team, especially a top 25 team. You say Jacksonville State going into Louisville, maybe a possibility there. However, Jacksonville State looked absolutely horrible against Coastal Carolina. They look like they're not going to be as good as we thought that they would be. I still might take them plus 28 and a half though, but I would definitely take Louisville to win the game. I think I would give Jacksonville State um, 28 and a half um, in this one. I know that they played really bad against Coastal. I still think that there's something there. I still think that they're decent, and, and I don't really trust Louisville enough to cover that big of a spread against what was supposed to be a really good group of five team. I still think might be a decent one. I'll take Jacksonville State plus 28 and a half, but Louisville to win. Next up, we got Baylor and Utah. I'd take Utah in this game, and honestly, I would probably take them minus 14 and a half as well. I don't think Baylor's good at all. I think they're one of the worst teams in the Big 12 this year, and Utah is at home as well, and Utah is one of the best teams in the Big 12. I'm surprised this line isn't more at like 17, 18, so I would probably take the 14 and a half. If you want to be extra safe, take it at 13 and a half on alt line. You can do that on FanDuel. Um, that's probably what I would take it at, but yeah, I think Utah's for sure going to win this game at home and I would take them to lay the 14 and a half. Next up, we do have the Cy Hawk Bowl, Iowa State versus Iowa Cyclones versus the Hawkeyes. And this one is always a great game. This one is being played as a home game for the Hawkeyes and they're getting three points in this one. Honestly, the way that this rivalry has been going like over the last few years, you want to take the under. I know it's low at 35 and a half, but you want to take that under. Um, as far as getting three points, if you're getting a field goal in this game, I'd take that for sure. As who I want to win, or as I, who I think might win, I'm actually going to go with my second underdog of the video. Took Michigan over Texas earlier. I'm going to take Iowa State over Iowa in the Cyhawk Bowl as a slight upset there. Give me the Cyclones. Kind of a risky pick there because Iowa's been playing really good in that rivalry over the past so many years, but I think it's time for Iowa State to come out of nowhere and, and, and just like catch them out of nowhere. I feel like this could be the year. I like Rocco Becht. I, I, I like their running back. I think Iowa State, they didn't look the best in week one. But I think they'll have enough in a close, low scoring game to get it done. Eastern Michigan versus Washington. Give me Washington. And honestly, I don't see Eastern Michigan laying or covering the 24 and a half. I just don't. I'd take Washington to lay them. I'm, I wouldn't bet on that, but Washington there to win. Next up, we do have Middle Tennessee State versus Ole Miss. I'd take an Ole Miss here to win this game. As far as the 42.5 point spread, again, I don't like betting on these big spreads, but Ole Miss 
is one of those teams where they really like when they're going up against lesser competition they really show it and they showed that last week against Furman they can lay they can lay these points they did it last week and I think Middle Tennessee Tennessee State's better team than Furman at least right you got that going for you but I, I still think Ole Miss will probably win by 50 Kansas Illinois that's a really good game with Jalen Daniels healthy I like Kansas and I like them to lay five and a half I know that it is in Illinois which is kind of scary possible upset there I wouldn't be mad at throwing a little bit on Illinois but I like Kansas there to win and uh, lay the points South Alabama or South Florida versus Alabama my bad this was actually a very close game last year and is Alabama going to be like, okay, we're not going to let that happen again? Maybe. Maybe. But USF does have a really good quarterback, Byron Brown, and I think that he's going to be pretty decent. Now, Alabama, I am going to pick them to win this game, for sure. But plus 30 and a half, I am going to go with the underdog there to cover the points. I think I don't think it's going to be super close, but... You know, you're saying if Alabama wins by four touchdowns, they lay the point, or, or you see at USF still covers. Give me South Florida Bulls. Buffalo versus Missouri, going from South Florida Bulls to the Buffalo Bulls. Um, give me Missouri. Missouri's going to win, and honestly, I take Missouri to lay the 34 and a half. Also, Nicholas State. Versus LSU, LSU, 51 and a half point spread is kind of insane. I don't even know where to go with that, but LSU to win. Of course, we can move on. Western Michigan, Ohio State, 37 and a half points. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this spread, I was like, mm, I was expecting it to be in the 40s. So I would take Ohio State and I would take Ohio State minus the 37 and a half. Lower than I thought I would take that. Tennessee and NC State, ranked versus ranked matchup. We only got a couple of those this week. And that's a pretty good matchup, especially with it being in Raleigh. You're saying NC State is nine and a half point underdogs in Raleigh. I know that they did not play good last week, but that's a lot of points for it being in Raleigh. I'm going to take NC State plus nine and a half. I would like it more if it was ten and a half. But I'd take Tennessee to win. I think, you know, NC State always has a sneaky good defense. And I know Tennessee has the high-powered offense. But I think it's going to be closer than we think. I think it's going to be closer than we think. Give me NC State plus the 9.5. But Tennessee, money line. We got a couple more games here to predict. Houston and Oklahoma. Give me Oklahoma minus 27.5 all day. For them to win and to lay the points. Houston is terrible. They got beat by almost 28 points to UNLV. You're saying in Norman, Oklahoma, they're not going to blow the doors off of Houston. Houston is, I talked about Baylor earlier being pretty bad in the Big 12. Houston is the worst team in the Big 12 this year as far as football goes. And yeah, that is that might be, if you guys made it to this far in the video, you are getting what is my favorite betting play of the week for college football and that is Oklahoma minus 27 and a half at home against Houston next up we got App State we got Clemson give me App State plus 17 Clemson to win the game I think that that is pretty fair there App State loves to go in on the road against power for opponents they done it to North Carolina recently and actually won that game they love to do this and come in and play super close games. So 17 points. Um, I would like it a lot more if it was up in the 20s to be extra safe. But 17, not too bad. Give me App State plus the points. Give me Clemson to win the game, though. Boise State, Oregon. Very good game. I mean, considering how Oregon played last week, them being favored by 20 and a half still is interesting. I'm going to go a similar direction here. Give me Oregon to win. Boise plus 20 and a half. I feel like that's pretty safe there. I think Boise will keep it close. Not because I think Boise State's defense is any good at all. Because I don't. 
they gave up a lot of points to what was it Georgia Southern or Georgia State last week but Boise State has a good offense I think they're going to be able to score more than people think against Oregon and keep it within three scores give me Boise plus 20 and a half and Oregon to win in our last game here at the ranked games we do have Utah State versus USC and I'm going to take USC to win and I would take them minus 28 and a half as well. I think that that's at home against Utah State. Their offense looked pretty good. And they're going from LSU defense to Utah State defense. They're probably going to put up 60 points. Give me USC to win by 28 and a half. That is not a bad line there to bet on at all. But that's going to do it for the ranked games. And let me know what you guys think about my picks, guys. I think I'd say my riskiest one was honestly the first game, and that was taking Michigan money line at home against Texas. I don't think that's too crazy, picking Michigan to win. Um, I'm probably going to sprinkle a little bit of money on that. Um, I'm not super confident in that pick, so bet responsibly if you are taking that pick. Definitely be more safe to take their plus 7.5. I like that a lot, but I am predicting Michigan to get that win. And then I did have um, a couple other underdog picks, like Iowa State to beat Iowa, and yeah guys let me know what you guys think about these picks down below in the comment section and as always for the non-ranked games some of my favorite non-ranked games of the weekend i'm gonna have youtube shorts on so be on the lookout for those and subscribe for more college basketball college football content all season long and i'll see you guys in the next one